the meeting on Thursday between Wolfgang Schäuble and Yanis Varoufakis, his Greek counterpart, lived up to expectations. It was billed as the climax of a, nearly a week of visits by the Greek finance minister, who was touring Europe looking for support for the new government's plans uh, for a program and a refinancing scheme for Greece, which would involve more leeway for Athens and more money from Greek, Greece's European partners. In Berlin, he met his match with Wolfgang Schäuble, the German finance minister, who has been from the outset very hostile to attempts by Athens to rewrite and scrap the existing agreement, which has been in place for a couple of years, uh, and to look for something new and something more from, as the Germans see it, other countries' taxpayers. The drama of the moment was heightened by the fact that uh, the press conference started more than half an hour late, with the ministers seemingly locked in talks much longer than they had originally expected. So when they finally entered, there was a lot of expectation as to what they might or might not say. Uh, there was certainly drama, with uh, Wolfgang Schäuble um, pointing out straight away uh, that they had not managed to agree on very much. Mr. Varoufakis confirmed the point by saying that there hadn't even been any plan that they should try and come to an agreement. Um, this wasn't even a talk about talks. It was a get-to-know-your talks, set-out-your-positions talk, and that's what the ministers did in the meeting, and that's also what they did in this tense um, and sometimes quite emotional press conference. Also, soll ich jetzt sagen, we agree to disagree. As Dr. Schäuble said, we didn't reach an agreement. It was never on the cards that we would. We didn't even agree to disagree from where I'm standing. From where I'm standing, we agreed to enter into deliberations as partners with a joint orientation towards a European solution for European problems. Mr. Schäuble, for his part, emphasized how much had already been done for and with Greece in terms of the financial support that Greece had been given. And he made the point that whatever the original causes of the Greek crisis, they lay in Greece and not in Europe and certainly not in Germany. Mr. Varoufakis uh, spoke about the failure of the existing program, that while huge amounts of money had been poured into Greece, almost all of it had gone to creditors very little had benefited Greece, and the accompanying reforms had been disastrous. He also um, referred to uh, Germany's Nazi past, not, I would say, in an unkind way, but pointed out that it had been depression which uh, had led or helped the rise of the Nazis, and that in Athens today, a Nazi party, not a neo-Nazi party, a Nazi party, as he said, was now the third largest in Parliament. So the two men left, agreeing that more talks would be needed. It won't be talks between them. It will be talks in the Eurozone with other institutions involved, with the ECB. It will take time. Both also know that time is very short because the current program, including the rescue finance that Greece so desperately needs, runs out at the end of the month. This is a game of chicken. Who blinks first and what happens next? Mr. Varoufakis has left himself a door open. He did say several times that his was a new government, that his government had now talked to its European partners, including to Mr. Schäuble. They would now come together and present proposals. But he did say uh, that time was needed, and he's asking specifically for some sort of short-term finance from the end of February until the end of May to give both time in Athens to actually put together proposals and for those proposals to be discussed and debated uh, with others in the Eurozone. None of the Eurozone countries want to see Greece leave the common currency. The question is, how much are they prepared to pay for Greece to remain a member?